with me for the first time come shopping with me for the first time after lockdown so New York City has officially opened up shopping um, of course it's not the same shopping that we're used to but I thought that this was really exciting because I think <laughs> I know one of my favorite things and I know one of you guys favorite things to do is to go shopping <laughs> and especially living in New York one of my favorite things to do especially in the summer when it's warmer is to go shopping in Soho and obviously with COVID we haven't been able to do that but now the option is there so um, just given that it's going to be a little bit different I thought it would be interesting to document this um, because I think some stores are only letting in certain amount of people at a time some stores are having you put on um, like hand sanitizer when you first enter um, so yeah I just thought it would be fun so right now I'm outside of Cezanne, which is one of my favorite stores. Uh, it's like a French sort of brand um, and it's really cool and really cute outside. So yeah, we're going to go here first. Thank you. Listen 
online that are that are sold out online are actually in stock in store for example this dress i wanted since the spring and here it is in my size in the store for only 14 dollars so this is very very exciting and yeah okay guys so <laughs> just came out of h&m right now um, i'm in line for zara so um, yeah, there's actually a line to get inside just because they're limiting the number of people that can go in at a time. But uh, yeah. which is inside of, oh, this mask, sorry guys, um, inside of Bloomingdale's, and I got chocolate and peanut butter, so I'm just gonna enjoy this really quickly somewhere while I hold all my bags. <laughs> all right, so now that I've had my food, <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys some of the really beautiful streets down in Soho. Um, honestly, I just love all of the like pretty pillars and just like, the old um, fire escapes, it's just so New York to me um, and I love it so much and I, every time that I come here I have to pinch myself that I live here um, and then I get to just come to this whenever I want to. Um, I never, never, don't, I don't think I'll ever take it for granted. Um, yeah, I just want to show you.
hot outside. It is 90 degrees today. I had to put my hair up in a top knot because it is very hot. Uh, but I am back home now. I did so much damage. I, at one point, I was like, okay, I could keep going, but I just need to stop. You know when you're like, I just need to shut myself off and go home? Yes, that, that, that was the point that I reached. But I wanted to show you the things that I actually got. Like, out of everything that I showed you in the store is what I actually bought. And then also just quickly talk about shopping in stores right now during COVID. So if you're a little bit unsure about it, um, like I was, and you're just not really sure how it works, I just want to talk about kind of some of the, 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 the procedures that they've, the stores have put in place. So most of the stores, before you even walk in, usually they'll have someone kind of like guarding the door and manning and taking note of how many people are coming in and out of the store. So they have a maximum capacity, which is obviously much smaller than it used to be. So some stores have lines. Um, other stores you can just go right in, but they're just way less crowded than they used to be. I'd say in general, like Soho this summer is not at all what Soho was past summers. There are people walking around on the street, you know, there's activity, but there are way fewer people out and about, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Um, a lot of the stores, or every single store that I went into had hand sanitizer, so whether it was when you first walk in or walk out right at the door, a lot of them even had hand sanitizer placed throughout. Obviously, all of the store employees had masks on, and you aren't allowed to enter the store at all unless you have a mask on, which obvious. Some stores, uh, specifically Zara, I, I saw this in, had over the loudspeaker when they're playing the music every couple of minutes. When a song would end, they would play this automatic recording where it was saying like, Dear customer, we kindly ask you to wear a face mask and to keep a minimum distance of six feet between you and other folders in your store. Thank you for your cooperation. So that was a good um, like verbal reminder as well. And then obviously there's marks on the floor. So any line where you'd queue up to check out, obviously there's the same lines on the store that you're used to in any other store, in a grocery store, wherever else we've been going. Also, I feel like something that's helpful is when you do go into a store, I know I am guilty of this, is I love to touch everything. I love to feel the fabrics. I love to touch things. And I feel like it's um, rather than like, you know, going through each rack, and it's a little bit, oh my gosh, you guys, my hair. <sighs> Cover girl, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so it's better to, in general, just try to touch things less often. I feel like that's obvious. Also, oh, I feel so, I mean, these store employees, I am like, if you are someone who works in a store right now, like, <sighs> God bless you because... They had to do a lot of wiping down. Some some of the checkout lanes, like every time they would check a new person out, they would wipe down the countertops completely, wipe down the credit card slot thing, just everything. And obviously they had like the windshield, um, like the shield up as well between you and them just to keep everybody safe. Um, so yeah, so shopping is definitely different, but it's still out there, it's still a go, I think, um, you know, and also in regards to fitting rooms, half of the fitting rooms were open, half of them weren't. If you did go into a fitting room, it was very much expected that you keep your mask on the whole time. Um, but yeah, okay, so yeah, so if you've been wondering what it, what it would be like to shop and maybe you haven't gone out yet, at least in New York City, those are the procedures that they have in place. So now let's look at what I bought. So the first store that you guys saw me go into was Cezanne, and they gave me this cute little reusable tote, which I will definitely be using for grocery shopping or just whatever. I thought it was adorable. So I actually shopped online on Cezanne recently, and I got two things. One was this exact tank top. So the one that I ordered online was just actually two sizes too big and they don't do exchanges. So I sent that shirt, that top back yesterday and then I actually saw the same exact top in the store. So I thought, you know what, why don't I just try it on and see which size I am. Am I, uh, so the one that I bought was a 40. They had a 38 and a 36 in the store. So I thought that I would be the 38, but I was actually the 36. So I 
probably would have ordered the 38 online so i'm really glad that i tried this on but oh, it's so adorable okay so it is this tank top with these very beautiful beautiful kind of fluttery lacy sleeves here so saison is a french brand their clothing is i would say very good quality um at least compared to a lot of the high street stores but you do you do pay for that extra um but in my opinion since the quality is so much better they will last longer so um it's worth it in that sense what i think is really cute about this too is that inside this sleeve it actually has this little um this little like button hook clip that you could hook your bra strap in there so if you don't want to be wearing a strapless bra and hiking it back up all day but also you don't want your bra straps to be showing um you can just clip them in here which i think is so cute yeah it's got like kind of a scallop trim detail at the bottom i just think that this is so cute and it felt so like french and flirty and pretty in summary i just feel like this with a little a little red lip and a cute little bag and yeah i'd say like maybe like a brown leather bag sort of accessory and some loose like maybe paper bag shorts would be so cute and then also in the store but i actually technically bought this online but i just want to show you because i think that it is so cute and you must know about it is this sweater so this is a really really cute sweater obviously not right now for in summer but maybe in the spring or the fall time i think that this would be really adorable so it has a little balloon sleeve and it has almost like a what do you call this i think it's like a boat neck or a nautical sort of <laughs> uh cut neck and it has purple pink white and yellow stripes on it which i think is so cute and yeah, I think this would be really pretty with like a little like gold necklace, um, even like a pair of shorts on maybe a cool summer night. I think it would be really adorable. And it smells good. <laughs> this sounds funny, but like when I got this in the mail, I don't know if they had sprayed it with a perfume or something, but I was like, oh, Saison stuff just smells good. I don't know. And then I went into Sephora, which also gave me a reusable bag. It says resilient, hopeful, thankful. Oh, I like that actually. So I got a couple things here. One is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is my morning and night face cleanser. I love this one. It's very gentle and it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or tight at all. It cleanses your skin without stripping it. And um, it's for all skin types. It gently cleanses your face and your eyes. So it's so gentle that you can actually go straight over your eyes with it and wash your eye makeup, makeup off as well. So I love it for all of those reasons. I also had really wanted to try this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. So this is the mask that uh, I will open this and show you. Oh, it's so cute and pink. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. You've probably seen this before. And it actually has two sides inside. One is Replenish and one is Lock. So if I open this up, let's see. Yeah, so it has one and two. And you'll see that one is more of like a jelly consistency and then one is more of a typical hydration cream. Um, some of my old, my other face masks right now are expired. So I was like, I need to throw those out and get a new face mask. And I had been wanting to try this one and it was right there. So grabbed it. And then I'm really excited to try this. This is the Kosas 8th Muse. It's a highlighter and blush like cream duo. And this I saw on Valeria Lip Lipovetsky's story on Instagram. I love Valeria Lipovetsky. I don't know if any of you guys follow her um, on YouTube as well. But she is my, she, anything she does skincare wise or makeup, I'm like, okay. Because I know that she only tells you the best things. And um, she put this on her stories. So, yeah. So as I said, this is like a cream um, blush and highlighter. I feel like this is going to be really cute. Let me just swatch this. Love that combination. And I feel like this is cute because it has a big mirror in it. So if you want to just throw this in your purse, you totally can. I feel like my idea with this is that this would be really cute for touch ups. So, you know, after you've been out kind of all day or if you've been sitting at a restaurant once you're done eating, I always like to pop some mints in my mouth to clear my freshen my breath i like to reapply my lipstick and then i feel like i could just pop this out as well look in the mirror and just be like oh i need a little bit more blush or a little bit more highlighter here and just touch up and then you're good to go so yeah i think that it is really cute 
and I love that it's like two in one. And then the guy at the Sephora store said that it was my birthday, which it's not. My birthday is in November, but I was like, yeah, sure. Um, maybe it's because I didn't collect my birthday gift from last year. I'm not sure, but he was like, you get a birthday gift. So I picked the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream combo. This is actually um, supposed to be, and I think it's so cute how tiny it is. It's the tiny version. Um... But yeah, this is actually supposed to be like top rated lotion, body lotion. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to try these. Ooh. Ooh, it smells very good too. Oh, it just looks so luxurious. So this is the, the orange one is like the original. Like I think this is the most popular one. And then they also came out with this one as well, the blue, the bluish greenish one, which is the Coco Cabana cream. So really excited to try these and... I love when they come in these little um, containers because I feel like it's a good opportunity to try them first, see if you like them at the lower price point, and then if you do, buy the full version when you get addicted to it. Keep these for travel and then you just take from the big version and put some in the little version and travel with it oh, when we can ever travel <laughs> in the future. And then also on the beauty note, I went into a Bloomingdale's. And I got a couple of things from Charlotte Tilbury, uh, makeup-wise, that I had been really wanting to try for a long time. So the first thing is the Flawless Filter. This is, it's, tech, it's kind of in between like a foundation and a highlighter, and a little bit really goes a long way here. So the shades are in like, you would match the shade to your exact skin tone like you would a foundation, but it's very, very light, and I love the fact that it has, here, let me show you. So it looks like this, and I love the fact that it has this really easy doe foot application. So you can usually take that out, you know, go over your face, and then just, I would just blend it in with my fingers. Your fingers are honestly the best tool when it comes to makeup, because as you're blending something in, the heat from your hands just warms it up and blends it in nicely and beautifully to your skin. So that's how I would do that. The shade that I got for reference is... Number two, light. Typical. And then I got two other things. So one of them is a contour wand, and then the other one is called a beauty light wand, which is a highlighter. Uh, so they look like this. So that is this one. It's the contour wand. I got fair dash medium. And this one, again, is cool because it has this little sort of like cushiony tip so this is really easy you just squeeze it out and then apply it where you would apply your contour and then just blend it in from there so I cannot wait to try that and then same with the highlighter the packaging looks very similar but just a little bit more gold and this one is the highlighter it also has that cute little felt tip and this one you would just apply where you do highlighter and then just again blend it with your fingers so very excited for those three. Then I got three things from Aritzia. All were on sale, so score. I feel like I did pretty good in Aritzia. Um, so one of them was this really, really cute white dress. So it looks like this. It's little spaghetti straps, and it kind of balloons out. It's really pretty big. Um, the material almost reminds me of like a parachute or something i don't know and it, the dress kind of parachutes out but i do think that every girl should have a nice white dress for summer and if you don't already own one or if you just want to add to your collection i think that this is a great one to have i think it's just very very universally flattering i was a little bit uh not so sure about this little top here because this is so tiny and I'm like my boobs are a little bit bigger than that I don't know if I'm gonna fit but I put it on and actually it fit and it looked pretty good and um I don't know if you're familiar with Aritzia but in the fitting rooms they don't actually have any mirrors in your actual room which kind of forces you to leave the room and look in the mirror and the salespeople really kind of get you there and add on stuff which I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think everyone should feel comfortable in their own little room with their mirrors if they want and to come out if they want. But when I came out in this dress, all of the people in the room were like, oh, so cute. And I was like, okay, okay, I have to get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so I thought that this was really, really cute. And um, 
a very exciting find. It was one of those things where, you know when you're in line for the dressing room and then you see some other things on the rack that like other people had tried on but they didn't want it so they put it back? I feel like I always like peek at that rack and I actually feel like that's a good little shopping hack is that that rack has already been sorted through. That's people who have already gone through the entire store and picked out their favorite things. So there's always good stuff on that rack. So always, always try to pay attention to that. And then I got a rain jacket. So this was on sale. I was really excited about this. It was originally $168 for this rain jacket, but I got it for $74, which is still pricey, but considering where it was and how much use I could get out of this, I've been saying for the last like five years that I need a rain jacket and I don't have one. So I'm glad that if it's raining, I finally have a jacket to put on. Um, and that is this one. So I thought that it was really cute just the way that it does zip up so you don't have to throw it over your head. Um, it does also have the pockets there so you can throw your hands inside and it little cinches at the little wrist there. Um, and it just has the collar. I think it's really cute because um, the hood is actually zipped up into this collar. So if I unzip this, you'll see that the hood is actually inside and I can take that out um but if you don't want to to have the hood you can just zip it back in there which I think is great because I don't always want my hood you know most of the time I don't want the hood unless it is actually raining then I'm like okay I need to protect my hair where's the hood and you can just unzip it Ugh, I just thought it was perfect in such a pretty little light pink color so what a little score and then I got this tank top. So I had been, this is also from Aritzia, and it is a, like a knit material. It's like a cream ecru off-white and sort of like ribbed almost. And I love how it kind of comes around here and then it just cuts like a typical tank top. So yeah, this is really cute. I had been on the hunt for something like this just to pair with any sort of skirt or shorts or jeans, just like a, kind of like a more neutral sort of just tank top that you can pair with anything. Alright, so then I went to H&M and I got two things there. One is another white dress. So this was so cheap. I was just like, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is, you guys have probably seen this, just the typical like H&M white dress. It's a midi length and it has these little buttons going down the front. So I think that this is just really cute to kind of throw on, maybe a little cardigan over it. If it's a cooler day, it would be really, really cute. So love that. Also, this dress, oh, I've had it in my favorites on H&M for so long. It's been sold out online completely um so i was really excited to see it in the store and that is this like almost balloon sort of dress with the long sleeves and it's this really pretty uh light pink pink floral pattern and as you can see here it was on sale for only 13 dollars. so why not i was really excited to see it in store in my size and on sale and uh yeah it's a mini length and so cute, especially for in spring when we're kind of transitioning seasons when we want to be wearing our cute spring clothes, but it's a little too, it's not, it's, it's not warm enough yet. And then I had been wanting this top. This is from Brandy Melville. I know this looks so tiny like a child's top. Their fitting rooms weren't open, so I'm going to try this on and see if it'll stretch. But yeah, I wanted this as like a loungewear sort of piece because obviously we're wearing, we're all wearing so much loungewear right now. So I think that this with a cute little pair of just like kind of lounging around the house shorts I thought was really cute. It's just a little button up. Um, white top with these little soft pink roses on it and yeah i just thought that it was really adorable and cute and comfy all right and then lastly i went to zara and yes i got cute things in zara as well so i'm not sure how these these are going to fit yet i might need to return them their fitting rooms were not open but i got this tank top which i think is so cute it's just a little crop so i'd probably pair this with a skirt or any pair of shorts since it's white it'll just be a, a nice top for any of them but I loved the fact that it had these ribbon tie sleeves it's just so girly and feminine and a beautiful kind of little touch you know if you just are sitting there enjoying a drink outside or something and it just ties so you can adjust it obviously 
and I thought that that was so cute and I thought that it would pair especially well with this little skirt from Zara so this is a little pastel purple skirt I am so in to the pastels right now obviously I love pastels but especially this year I've really gotten into purple I don't know what it is um, but I thought that this was really cute. I loved how it kind of has the tie, but the tie is in like a belt detail. I thought that that was just very cute. And it has shorts inside. So even though you're in a little mini skirt, you don't have to worry about the wind blowing. Yeah, I just thought that these two together would just be a really, really cute combination for the summer. And then I also got this pink dress. So this was totally calling my name. When I saw it, I was like, yes, that dress is so me. It's just a little pink dress. I love, my style is very much influenced by like ballet and pink and ballerinas because I was um, a ballerina for about 15 some odd years. So yeah, and it just kind of ties in the back here. It so sorry guys, my phone died. That's not my phone. <laughs> My camera battery died, so I had to charge it, and it's about an hour and a half later. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I think I was just saying that, yeah, it's a pretty pink linen material, and it's a mini maxi length, so very, very cute. And then I almost forgot about this, but this is the, I think, absolute last, last thing, and that is a pair of shoes. So when I went into Bloomingdale's, they had a sale on the shoe brand Aqua, and everything was 50% off, so I was like, yeah. I tried on a pair of sandals, which I showed you guys in the video. I thought that they were cuter just sitting there on the shelf than they were actually on my feet, so I was like, no, not going to get these. However, I did get these pink strappy sandals. These oh, are so cute. These are like the ultimate Elwood's Barbie sandals. I love the fact that this it's the same color pink on the straps, on the heel. It's just kind of mono the same tone throughout. And yeah, they're just really cute. They're a little kitten heel sandal style and just that beautiful, pretty, pretty pink. So I thought that these were very on trend and cute. The fact that they were 50% off was awesome and yeah. I, um, I walked around on them a little bit in the store too and they were super comfortable and the fact that the heel was so low was like yeah I could totally wear these on a normal day and not feel like I'm wearing heels you know but you look like you're wearing heels so yeah so so cute all right that's it thank you guys so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you had fun coming with me on a little shopping day in New York uh, the next video, I think next weekend, is going to be coming to the hair salon for the first time meet time with me after lockdown. So similar sort of concept, but um, going to the hair salon instead. I'm really hoping that they let me film and that I can do that. So definitely subscribe uh, for more videos and if you want to see that um, so that you'll be notified. And... Yeah, also I have my Instagram and TikTok are here. Um, I have my blog. Um, follow me on Like to Know It where I post um, more frequently or at least quicker when I get these items in. Quicker than I can put up a YouTube video, I can just quickly put up on a story on Instagram. So before things sell out online, if you follow me on Like to Know It, then yeah, you'll be able to see them and if you like them, get them for yourself um, in real time. So yes, all right, that is it for me. Um, you guys are the best. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. All right, bye.